Here's Carlos Silva now going to work in the second inning with a one nothing lead and he throws a called strike to Hideki Matsui. Matsui was at the plate when Gary Sheffield got thrown out trying to steal to end the, the first inning. Inside for a ball. Now Carlos Silva, 25 years old from Venezuela and among all of the pitchers who threw enough innings to qualify for the ERA title. That is caught by Guzman. And it continues to make him in and at Guzman. And Bernie Williams with a couple of practice swings. And he takes two high for ball one. Bernie, a switch hitter. And in this series, he's had two hits and eight at bats. One to nothing. The Twins are leading. Carlos Silva, the, and for those of you who've been watching the Red Sox Angels game, we're repeating, uh, repeating a few things that we had mentioned at the outset of the telecast. That's a foul out of play for Bernie. One ball, one strike. But opposing hitters had a 310 batting average against Silva, which was the second worst such figure in baseball. But he was 14 and 8. 14 wins, only 8 losses for the year. They got him in a trade before the season with the Philadelphia Phillies, where they sent Eric Milton over to Philadelphia, and they got Carlos Silva and uh, Nick Punto. They put him in the rotation. And Silva actually got better and better as the season went along. Well, he started a master in breaking ball and off speed pitches. Two and two to count. In September, Silva did his best pitching. He was 4 0 with a 1.72 ERA. And that's a direct reflection of the fact that he just stopped trying to blow people away and started using his slider and his changeup. Broken back. Kadir, out uh, number two. This he, year, 21 homers. And even though John, it, everyone's all excited because the Yankees won Game Two. I mean, it's still one and one. The Twins won split in the Yankee Stadium. You come home with a split, you always feel like you're ahead of the game when you start in the opposing team's home field. So if you're the Twins, you just say, "Hey, we lost Game Two, but that puts us even. Now we're at home where we can take advantage and control of the series." Two down, nobody on. Posada batter, one to nothing. The Twins lead, and that sinker runs down and away. Two balls and a strike with John Olerud on deck. I asked uh, Terry Ryan, the general manager of the Twins, about the trade that brought Silva here, and he said well, they they needed to uh, free up some salary. That's a base hit to center field. Milton was going to get something like nine million dollars this year. I'm John Miller with Joe Morgan and Gary Miller. Jack Jones with a solo homer in the bottom of the first to put the Twins ahead here. One to nothing. Carlos Silva pitching for the Twins versus Kevin Brown. That one is rolled and past the diving Guzman and a base hit for John Olerud. Posada goes to second and holds there. Cairo got the big walk in the 12th inning to start what proved to be the winning rally. And he takes a call strike. And it was interesting. You know, everything was so scrutinized in that ball game because it was such a, a tense game. And an interesting game, an exciting game. But Joe Torrey won the ball game, and yet even then people were saying, how come we let Cairo hit? That ball's a blue. That's in there, base hit. So Cairo knocks in the tying run. Coming in to score is Posada going to third is Olerud ahead of the throw. So the blue single by Cairo, and the Yankees with three consecutive two out hits have tied the game. Especially down the stretch, you're just swinging the bat so well. Now the ball by Kenny Lofton into left field. That one is falling. Base hit. Coming in to score the go-ahead run is Olerud. Cairo stops at second. Man, a lot of first ball swinging going on right here. Kenny Lofton, in his first trip to the plate in this series, knocks in the go-ahead run for the Yankees. And Kenny Lofton has always enjoyed the playoffs and the big stage of the World Series. I mean, he loves playing in these games. And he's very disappointed he wasn't playing in game two. But he reaches out. This is actually a bad pitch and flips it to left field in front of Shannon Stewart. And the Yankees have another run. So they've had four consecutive two out singles. They lead two to one. Here is Derek Jeter. He grinded out the short in the first pitch of the night. And he takes a called strike. You know, it's interesting, John. We're talking about Jeter being already the star of this series. It's only gone two games. And he's hitting, he started a day hitting 250. That tells you how good a player he is that he can do more than just swing the bat. 
I mean, he helps you win games in a lot of different ways. Because I was surprised that he was only hitting 250 when I looked. That's true, though. Blanco came up ready to throw as Cairo, he thought, was taking liberties at second base, but Cairo went back to the bag. One ball, one strike, the count to Derek Jeter. Well, Jeter in that game, he hit a home run into the the black painted bleachers in center at Yankee Stadium as Joe Troy called it. He says he hit one into Reggie Land. And then he had a sacrifice bunt later on, and then he scores the winning run with some excellent heads up base running. And that's and the, two now. that's the pitch that I think makes the difference with Silva. He takes a little bit off and the ball really goes down. But in the past he was an excitable individual and whenever he got in trouble he just tried to throw harder. With two down and two strikes twins fans on their feet waving those hankies. Alex Rodriguez would be next. Down and away with that sinker. Two balls two strikes. There's a rod on deck. Jeter has not yet had a hit against Silva. It's not like he's faced him very often. He's 0 for 3 against him now. Four consecutive hits for the Yankees against Carlos Silva. Cairo at second, Lofton at first. And that's a fifth consecutive hit. And Cairo comes home with the third run as Stewart throws in the third. Just a ground ball on that turf and right through the hole. Derek Jeter gets the Yankees their third run. Alex Rodriguez coming up. Well, a good job of hitting, except Silva was trying to get this ball down more and in, and he did not. It was down, but it was not in enough. Jeter grounds it to the left side. And here's the one thing to look for later in this ballgame. You have to be able to run well enough to score from second base on base hits. A lot of times when you play on AstroTurf, guys can't score. Alex Rodriguez, the eighth hitter of the inning, can't score when the ball gets to the outfielder so quickly. Yeah, and that's the one thing that you have to be aware of. As I said earlier, AstroTurf puts a premium on speed and quickness and defense, so you have to be able to play that game to do well here in the, in the uh, dome. A-Rod, standing just off the corner. Alex Rodriguez grounded out the short his first time. Kyle Loesch, the right-handed, normally a starter for the Twins in the regular season, warming up in the bullpen here. Five consecutive hits, all singles. That's what Riggs trying to deliver more. Pops it up. On the right side, Kadire, the second baseman. And that is the inning. Five consecutive, two out hits. Yankees three, Twins one, Koski coming up.